Hey, what's happening, buddy? This is Hayden Adams, and I am so excited. Why? Because React Bootstrap, one of my favorite tools to use in React, is now using Bootstrap 5 as its base level underneath the hood. I want to take you through three new features of Bootstrap 5 that now work with React Bootstrap. And we're starting right now. All right, so what I have here is my ultimate Gatsby starter, which includes React Bootstrap. I'll put a link if you wanna download this premium starter package I have if you wanna use Gatsby, but just know you can use any version of React that you want in this project. I've also gone ahead and installed React Bootstrap previously in this project, and I've already set up the container, row, and columns that work with React Bootstrap. If you want information on how to install both React Bootstrap and how to use container rows and calls, I'll put links in the description below. So speaking of rows, we now can add gutters to our design to increase or decrease the space between columns. So if I come down here to the row, I'm gonna say row class name equals G for gutter, and I can say anywhere from zero to five, like we work with spacing. If I say G0, what's gonna happen is that gutter completely goes away between the columns. Vice versa, if I go to G5, if I save and refresh, it's gonna increase this to a space of five based upon the spacing inside of Bootstrap. It works on all levels. From the mobile phone level, there's our giant space right here. And if we take it out, there will be some spacing because I did use paragraph tags, both with the titles and with the picture. So there's an inherently some margin space in there. But if I take it back to the non-mobile side, what I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get a gutter of zero, which is gonna place those pictures directly across. I can always take it out, but I can now control my gutter from zero to five in React Bootstrap. The second big change in React Bootstrap is there's no more left and right. We oftentimes think of the left being the left-hand side and the right being the right-hand side, but when it comes to an Arabic writing, the right becomes the left and the left becomes the right. If that sounds confusing, you're correct. And so Bootstrap changed it. If I wanna add some padding over here on this left-hand side, let's stop thinking about the left and start thinking about the start and the end, or S and E. So in this row, or I can even put in my container, I'm gonna add padding S for padding start dash five. What that's gonna do is it's gonna pad my space here with the spacing of five. There's no more PL or ML for padding or margin respectively. So if I say MS five, that's gonna oh, throw the whole thing in there. Let me go back to the P. That's a little better in spacing. There we go. It padded the spacing in our design. And if I say padding end dash five, that'll decrease the spacing over here on the right as it is on the left. Now again, if it's Arabic, it would be reverse. So instead of thinking about L and R, it's now S and E for start and end. Note the same thing did not change, it is still PX5 for the X axis for the start and the end combined. And the third and probably biggest change when it comes to React Bootstrap using Bootstrap 5 is everything is mobile first. Now, except for columns, that's the one caveat. If I wanna have the columns be XS and say equal to six, the XS is still around only inside the column, but the XS is almost gone. What I mean by the XS is the extra small or mobile version. It still sticks around inside the columns. So if I come down to my three columns and I'll come up to this third column, what the XS still will do is if I go right into my inspect, the XS will control the mobile version. That's the only place you're gonna find the XS located within the React Bootstrap. Now, what I mean by this is, let's say I wanna have zero gutters on the mobile, but I want three for spacing on everything at large or larger. If you think about it, the G0 is mobile first. So it goes from mobile up to small, 
medium, large, XL, and double XL in Bootstrap 5. Vice versa, let's say I wanna say G5. I'm gonna put a lot of spacing in this just so you can really see the difference here. And then once you go to the large size where it's a four column out of 12, I'm gonna say G0. I want no spacing. What's gonna happen is this is gonna hold, whoop, let me flip this around. Let's say G, LG, zero. There's the number I'm thinking of. What's gonna happen is if I take this out, you'll see now that there's no gutter spacing because it's mobile first. This G5 applies to the mobile design or everything that's medium and small because it only changes with the large. If I decrease the size of this slowly but surely, what's gonna happen is when I hit the medium version, right about here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go into that size differential and if I go smaller and smaller and smaller, there it goes. So it's gonna hit that zero at large or larger. And I can always say MD at that size. So when I go back out, there it goes. Small, large, XL, double XL, and that's how it works. The same applies for everything that has small, medium, and large. For example, the margin top, the PX, for example here, that's gonna to apply to the mobile design and higher. If I wanted it to go away, I could say PX MD5. What's gonna happen here, actually that's not make sense, let's say zero. Thinking the opposite, there we go, that's better. So the padding went to zero when it hit the medium or larger, but from the mobile size, it's at five. So if I come back to this responsive design and I go smaller and smaller, eventually what's gonna happen is when it hits a certain size, there we go. Now we're gonna hit small and smaller. The five gets applied because it's mobile first, essentially saying apply everything above. That's why I write the mobile first and then the non-mobile second. The same way with the columns. I'll put the mobile first and the non-mobile second since the mobile goes first by default. And that's one of the biggest changes in React Bootstrap in Bootstrap 5. If you want a copy of this version, I've got it as a premium starter download in the description below. And also I have more videos both in Gatsby and Bootstrap 5 on this channel. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes.